Thank you so much. Um, today, of course, we have been gathering together for the last six years. I think all of us, and we have newcomers and new friends, uh, which we are welcoming, and all the beautiful countries that are joining in. This has been a cause that every woman in the region has taken. And that was because everyone knew Selwa, and we spent time with her, and she became a dear friend. And it was a shocking, shocking, you know, uh, tragedy that really we could never get over. We just had to take that energy to make sure that we are going to fight for justice that she has really died for. So we are here today to pay tribute to Selwa Borgegis as we continue our campaign that justice for Selwa is justice for all, really. It is now six years since Selwa was murdered, and of course, six years since the last general election to be held in Libya. Since then, we have taken the cause of justice for Selwa to the parliamentarians across the world, to the UN General Assembly, and more and more. Selwa was the first case of a non-head of state to be raised at the, United, uh, at the United Nations Security Council, thanks to the Dutch. But the minute that Dutch got in the seat there, that was the first day of business that they really have mentioned. And this was the first, that was a coup, really. Even for, you know, for me as a friend, you know, and a colleague uh, of Selwa, these years have been very, very hard and very depressing for me. I cannot imagine what it has been like for her children and her family and, and for, for, for Iman, who has been working with Selwa side by side. Um, the first three years after her murder, we really, I, I think all of us were very, very angry very depressed and the, the last the next three years we really made a decision that uh, you know uh, we were absolutely going to fight for justice for her we really we were motivated we basically made that anger into motivation to really fight for justice for self and for others like her uh, that has uh, that has been murdered we are joined by uh, patricia sellers who is our expert today. And um, so that is why we are joined today as uh, well as women who share the spirit, courage, determination, and commitment to building just and peaceful society of their own homeland. So we have Syria and we have Sudan and we have Palestine, we have Yemen, we have Iraq, we have all of those countries who have the same determination, the same courage, and absolutely motivated by justice. Um, some people think justice is a luxury item that you have everything and then you think you see someone killed in front of you and then you... Justice is a way of life for many women in all those countries. Justice is not, uh, it's not something you just do, it's something that you have to do because your whole life depends on it. I think, um, you know, you can, it, it has become part of our lives. We welcome here today a remarkable woman from across the region whose countries are scared by conflict, violence, occupation, and injustice. Like Selwa, they are determined to build and change. And today we will talk about how we can challenge the culture of impunity and the absence of accountability. Our recent weeks, over the recent weeks, I have taken a lot of energy and inspiration from the Black Lives Matter movement. They have shown that you can mobilize not just people, but public opinion to recognize and demand an end to injustice. Racism in America is not a new thing, mm -hmm. but the energy of Black Lives Matter is new and it's very powerful. We can take inspiration from our own calls to end impunity and injustice. It was Martin Luther King who said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We have in our meeting today speakers who are working in very different environments, dealing with different problems, but who, who all share the spirit and determination to end injustice. 